Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer from the new Boston and in this tutorial we're going to learn a little bit more about graphics. So you can see here that I have the graphics demo open. Um, if you don't know what this is you may want to move back to the previous tutorial and we just created this app that whenever you click draw a rectangle it'll draw a rectangle onto the form. Uh, now you can see that we del I deleted the code that drew, drew the rectangle onto the form um, and we're going to be do, doing something a little bit different now. So come over here to Form 1, click your lightning bolt, and we need to find the click event. So here's our click. We'll double click on it. So whenever the person clicks on Form 1, what we want to do is, let's just say, draw new rectangle. Now we will get an error when we do this because there's no such thing as draw new rectangle so we need to create it so private sub draw new rectangle and we're gonna need the X position so by val X position as integer and then the Y position so Y position as integer Okay, so whenever they draw the rectangle, uh, whenever they click draw new rectangle, let's just go ahead and type g dot draw rectangle. We'll do, or let's do fill rectangle. So g dot fill rectangle, and we'll do brushes dot, let's make it cadet blue. And then we will do the x position. So X position, Y position, and we'll just make it 60 by 60. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to pass the X position and the Y position to our draw new rectangle method. So you can see here that we have, uh, for form on click, we have by val sender as system.object. The sender is the object of the form. And then we have E as system.eventargs. Now E has a whole bunch of stuff that we can use. So for our event args, um, E, we're just going to use E dot X and E dot Y. But you can see that there is no such thing as E dot X and E dot Y. So what we need to do is change E to something else. So right now is it is system.eventargs. We need to change it to mouse event args. So mouse event arguments. So what this is going to do is when we access e.x, it's going to give us the x position of the mouse. So e.x. It says gets the x coordinate of the mouse during the generating mouse event. So we're going to draw a new rectangle at position x and y. Now you could do all of this right here up in form one click but it's always good to put it in a different method um, so that it's easier to change in the future. So we'll go ahead and run this and you can see that when I click the top left corner of our square is going to be where I clicked. And you're gonna, you can see it's going to keep adding new squares. So what we can do is so that we create a new square each time we just need to refresh the form so me dot refresh it says forces the control to invalidate its client area and immediately redraw itself so it redraws itself and gets rid of any graphics that are already on there so it draws a square and then when we click it again it's going to draw a square somewhere else and the squares disappear each time and it draws a new square. Now we can even draw it behind our button. So go ahead, uh, put this code in if you haven't. It's very simple. Um, just make sure that you change E to mouse event args so that you can access the X position and the Y position of the mouse. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Um, and then once you've done that, 
go ahead and move on to the next tutorial.